Behind us, we have a b and i8 Roadster, which is a one of 30 in Australia, and we've just coated it with our brand new coating CC1. The feel and the slickness is absolutely unreal. Look at how wet this thing looks. This car obviously looks super stunning, and a lot of that is to attribute to the M1 homage, which is mostly based off. So this car has a three-cylinder petrol motor, including a electric motor as well. With those two in the combined, you're getting about 391 horsepower. And we'd love to show you guys what's underneath the hood, but we found out quite early on that there's no way of the consumer actually opening it. There are no latches whatsoever, and it's an incredibly complicated process to open that. Isn't that crazy? To see how we got this car looking so good, and you can do the exact same, follow me. So we've just traveled back in time and I'm gonna run you guys through how we got to that end result. We didn't have to do much polishing on this car. So that's why we're gonna use a finishing compound with a medium pad. My favorite combination is perfect finish with this yellow pad here. So we just put a bit of extra polish on to prime the pad. Now we can get started. So we've corrected the whole car, we're going to be coating it with CC1. It's an amazing coating because it's really slick and gives that ultra wet look. It's got a durability of about 15 months and it uses SI carbon, which is one of the most up-to-date technologies in ceramic coatings. So what you'll find in the box is a 50 ml bottle of serum, which is a tremendous amount. That'll get you two, if even three cars sometimes, depending on how you work with the coating. And you'll find four applicators in the box. So these applicators are actually quite a special applicator. They have an awesome grip pad at the back and they have a really soft felt surface here along with a fluid reservoir here to make the coating go as far as possible. You don't need to overdose it. These spread the coating out really nicely as well to give it as even of an application as possible. You just wipe the whole car down with Prepare or an isopropyl alcohol. Make sure you wipe all surfaces and at a certain point I'll flip the rag over, do a wipe on, wipe off type procedure to make sure we get all the contaminants if there are any left at this point. Normally with perfect finish, as a final polish, you will not actually have any contaminants on the surface. It's just a good safety measure anyways. All right, let's move on to the coating. So if you guys can butter bread, you'll be able to do this coating. To start out with, we need to prime the pad, which will be eight drops evenly placed on the applicator. And at this point, we just do a cross hatch pattern of about half the hood and then we'll leave it for about four minutes before wiping it off. Yeah. 